Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm just coming through to talk about these clowns for a minute, but before I get into them, I wanted to um, say that I was able to catch a few minutes of Mel um, on her live, taking questions from bloggers. I heard her confirm that, you know, she was indeed in a relationship with this new guy. Okay. So I'm going to head on and believe it now. Like I said before, I was thinking that it had something to do with her video for the, uh, for cloud nine or something like that. And it still may, you know, um, but she said that she was in a relationship with him. Okay. Who knows? She may have him in the video, not his face though. Cause she said that, you know, she wasn't gonna, um, let the people know who he was. Now she said that she didn't, you know, need nobody that was in the entertainment business. I think so. It sounds like he's a regular smegular guy and ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, as long as, you know, he a good dude, but I know that, you know, I would hold off personally, okay, from calling him a good dude or, you know, hold off on thinking that I was in love with him until, you know, some time has passed. Because as we all know, you know, guys are good at pretending. When you meet most of them, you meet their representatives. And they representative is the person that, you know, you think you getting instead of the person you really get <laughs> once some time passed. But, um... Niggas, you know, they can't pretend forever. It's only a matter of time before the real them come out, which is why it's important to take your time and get to know them. Now, I don't know if this is a guy that she's known for a while and decided to be with after some time or someone she's met while on those, you know, vacations that she had took by herself. Either way, I just say, you know, she better be careful so, you know, she don't end up with another Martell. Because as unfortunate as it is, there are several Martells out there looking for a bitch whose life they can destroy. Because narcs can't do shit but fuck your life up and make it as miserable as theirs is. Well, best of luck to her, okay? Anybody, and I do mean anybody, is a step up from Martell. I'm sure Mel was smart enough to date up instead of dating down like his stupid ass did. But then again, you know, Martell dating down probably ain't had nothing to do with how smart he was. I guess he dated down because dating up wasn't an option. Who the fuck want a nigga who can barely read? And a serial cheater, a pathological liar, a user, a manipulator, a grown ass child, and a nigga who clothes so damn tight you can count the change in his fucking pocket. Only the Arians and the charades of the world. Those are the ones that want his ass. And speaking of Sheree and Arian, y'all, Somebody better go and do a wellness check on Ariane because Martel was recently spotted out with Sheree having himself a good old time. You know how Marty likes to do it. His motto is, in my opinion, if it's free, it's all right with me. He was spotted at Sheree's New Year's Eve party and he was also seen at Sheree's birthday celebration. His ass probably didn't get her not one gift. He probably came through that bitch with that damn Inez wine. That shit would have went right across his motherfucking head. But that's what Sheree get, though. Out of all the men that she could have had, she went and chose Martell. But I guess she wanted somebody she could, you know, be comfortable with. And she seemed to be comfortable with criminals and guys who cheat on their wives and come up with fly-by-night ass schemes to get a dollar. But she ain't no better, in my opinion. She ain't shit either, according to the streets. And they talking about he dated up. Yeah, he dated up the street in Atlanta. But anyway, y'all, Ariane over there probably having a fit. <laughs> I know we're going to hear some shit from her later. So far, she done posted this picture uh, you see here uh, in her stories looking unbothered. She said that um, as far as 2023 goes, she don't have much to say, just a lot to do. And I couldn't agree more. But the thing is, you know, is she going to do those things? Probably not. Talk is cheap. Her shit is the same. It's like the same shit a different day. If she know what I know, she would go somewhere and get smart instead of allowing this nigga to have her ass out here looking stupid on the regular. Because ain't no motherfucking way I would allow a nigga that could barely read to be out here playing my ass like I was a motherfucking soybean burger. Better start acting like you fucking filet mignon or some shit. You probably can't spell it, but that don't mean you can't be it. And it don't matter if you just a tuna sandwich right now. That don't mean that you can't transform into something greater. She going around talking about how she a bad bitch. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. Been that bitch. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, you're right. 
you are that bitch and been that bitch, the bitch that his ass been keeping down in the motherfucking basement like the people under the stairs. Ain't you tired? This motherfucker done been seen with just about every bitch on the planet, but when it comes to you, he wants no association. I mean, him and Mel been divorced for about damn near two years now, and she even got a new man, and he still got pictures of her on his IG page, and not one of you, not one. You his child's mother too, whether he wanted you to be or not. I mean, he didn't do shit to prevent it, so I don't know why he trying to disassociate himself from you. It's not like he any better than you. Y'all actually the same kind of people, in my opinion. He's probably just ashamed of who he really is, and you remind him of who he really is. So he would rather go out into the world and pretend to be somebody he not and hang around people who compliment the nigga he want to be and will never be because instead of trying to be a better man, he would rather pretend. Then when he gets done pretending, he runs his ass back to you where he's most comfortable, in my opinion. And let's be clear, he doesn't keep coming back to you because he's in love or just can't leave you alone or because you're better than the rest. He will leave your ass alone if he was forced to, but you keep allowing him to come back and use you, in my opinion. He keep coming back to you, okay, because you have no standards, and he knows that he can get something from you for a little or nothing, in my opinion. And I don't even think, you know, it's about you or the others being digmatized because Martel gives off little dick energy. When he be having on those tight-ass pants, I be looking for a print, but I just couldn't find one. The only print he got is probably the one that was found on the ATM after he allegedly stole it. So I don't think y'all digmatized. I just think y'all ass be falling for that bullshit that he be telling y'all. He probably good with words when dealing with people who slow. Because Martel can't run that game on a smart bitch. He can't run that shit on a smart bitch because they would be able to see right through it. Better go get smart like Mel did. While you sitting around hating on a bitch like she fucked your husband. And it's like, you need intense therapy, in my opinion, because only a bitch with issues would be mad at somebody's wife because she was a wife, the wife of a nigga that you wanted, but he didn't want you. If he did, he would be with you. And not just at nighttime when he slide through for some ass. Bitch, you need to do more than just turn out the lights and hide from a nigga when he come and ring your doorbell, okay? Leave his ass alone and go get your shit together, even if it means relocating, in my opinion. Stop being a convenient fuck. Here you is, got his back, holding his secrets, done had his baby, giving giving his, giving his him free ass, okay? And he out here publicly telling the new bitch that he got to get her a ring while publicly telling people that he ain't marrying your ass. I mean, a nigga has called you a peasant, said that he wasn't going to marry you, called you 15%, you know, said he didn't take you serious, says that he misses what he had, he keeps trying to get his ex-wife back. You know, he can openly go out and take pictures with other bitches, but not you. He has said that he wants to get married again, just not to you. How do you just sit and let a nigga keep saying that he don't want you? And publicly at that. Yet you get online and be this nigga cheerleader. Like, go find some self-esteem and stop thinking that you need a nigga to come up. And go and put that biology degree to use if you really got it. Martel can't help you because he can barely help himself, in my opinion. Mel was a lick and he knew it. He brought nothing to the table, in my opinion, and still brings nothing to the table, in my opinion. And that's why you're mad, because he no longer have nothing to offer you. He played you, and you played yourself, and he continued to play you, and you continue to play yourself. And speaking of table, y'all, I was just thinking about how, you know, everybody Martel fuck with, he has brought them to Mel's table to eat. The people he fucked with were not originally friends with Mel. I believe she met them all through him. And I feel like, you know, he knew what Mel brought to the table and brought all of his hungry ass friends to eat there. Okay. When they got together, as in him and Mel, he saw something in Mel that let him know that she was going to be somebody in this world, in my opinion. And he wanted to be a part of that because he too wanted to be somebody. And he knew that Mel could help him with that in my pain okay then once he started to see what he wanted come to fruition he started feeling himself this is why i say that marceau and maurice had nothing to do with martel cheating he was going to do that shit anyway in my opinion martel wanted to be a high value man because he saw no value in himself beforehand in my opinion so he went and got himself you know a successful woman turned her into a wife okay a woman who could help him uh get to where he wanted to go. Then he went and got him some muscles, okay? Gym rats are the biggest whores. Martel wanted to be a ladies' man. And that's, you know, what's the best way to become that? Go and get yourself some money and some muscles. Mel made it so that, you know, they had money, okay? He had the money. 
even though he wanted us to think that he was a breadwinner, he had the nerve to say that he uh, retired her from teaching when it was really the other way around. She retired his ass from teaching, in my opinion. Now, I don't know what exactly he built, if anything, but he wouldn't have been able to build shit had it not been for me on having her build his license, something he still doesn't have today. He said on the reunion episode that he still don't have his builder's license. And by the time you get it, Sugar Mama be old enough to run for president. He going to come to her talking about, see, baby, I did it. And she going to be like, hold up, shorty, hold up, bitch, because nobody cares. You were supposed to get that shit like 40 years ago. Fuck out my face. Y'all, when it's all said and done, they ass ain't going to have an ounce of respect for his ass, in my opinion. He at the reunion talking about, just be glad I'm focused on the children. That's what he said when they asked him about his builder's license and he told him, you know, that he still didn't have it. And I was like, how the fuck you focus on your children when getting your builder's license is going to help you be able to take care of your children? But your ass ain't taking it seriously. That was him confirming for us, in my opinion, that he trying to be a housewife. He ain't trying to work. I guess he feels that, you know, he can continue to use other people's license. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say this nigga just want to skip through life using people, not putting in no real work like a real man would. He a little ass boy looking for somebody to take care of his ass, in my opinion, looking for ways so, you know, he won't have to work. That's why he says he's focused on the children because he thinks that the children are going to be his meal ticket, in my opinion. That's why he got his ass up in court trying to take them away from their mama. Okay. He a sorry ass bastard, in my opinion. He would rather try to take his kids away from their mother just so he can get a check instead of going out there and actually working for a check, in my opinion. Love and Mary Chansfield is going to eventually run its course, in my opinion. It already has, but it's not going to be on loan, in my opinion. And I don't think that this nigga is planning for the future. He's trying to get filming time on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but the reality of the matter is that Sheree's days on the show are numbered, in my opinion. And Andy ain't. Um, gonna have his ass up there holding a the peach with the rest of the ladies, contrary to what he may be thinking. So he gonna be up shit's creek without a paddle. He thinking his looks gonna get him through life, but looks fade, especially when you an ugly motherfucker on the inside. That shit seeps out onto your outside. I don't give a fuck how much money or muscles a nigga got. I couldn't. I could never be attracted to a nigga like Martell. N- not in this day and age. And me saying. What I say about him, you know, it ain't about me just wanting to be negative in spite of what a bitch came through here and said. Some raggedy ass bitch had the nerve to come through here and, you know, tell me to stop talking about her friends in the last video that I did on Martel, Destiny, and Ariane. And you could tell that her ass were really their friends because birds of a feather flock together and her illiterate ass couldn't even spell. Then she had the nerve to come through here with a fucking ancient ass name. I tell you one thing, if you listening... <sighs> You four score seven years ago, face ass bitch. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Okay. You come back through here talking shit and it's going to be the last time your ass want to log into YouTube because I'm going to pin your comment and then proceed to drag the fuck out your ass because what you not going to do is come in my space. Okay. Come in my space and tell me what the fuck to do. Stop talking about my friends. I'm glad this your last video because you just so negative. It ain't your business. First of all, bitch, when your friends got their bum asses on public platforms, being the stupid motherfuckers that they are, it became all of our business. If you were a real friend, you would be somewhere talking some sense into their asses and calling them out on their bullshit instead of coming here to my channel, talking shit to me about calling them out on their bullshit. And if your friends weren't so fucking negative, and out here in the world doing negative shit, then I wouldn't have negative shit to say about them. And if you don't want to hear what I have to say about them, it's simple. Stay the fuck off my channel. And no, that last video wasn't my last video. I'll actually be posting for the next few weeks. And I'm going to make sure that 99.999999% of the videos that I post from now until then are about your friends. Since you wanted to come through here popping your gums with your stupid ass. Your dumb ass just made it worse for them. Okay, and each video is going to be worse than the last. Thanks to you, bitch. Now, moving the fuck on. Martell know that Mel is, you know, with somebody else. And whoever he is probably cracking her back. So he going to run and try to fuck with Sheree again. That's just a deflection, in my opinion. Okay, to make people believe that he ain't really pressed about Mel's new man. But 
that's an even bigger reason for her to be extra careful because even though he up under Sheree right now, he could still be plotting on Mel's ass. Now, why would I stuff her in my trunk when I done moved on with Sheree? Because you crazy, nigga, in my opinion. You may be with Sheree, but Mel is where you want to be. Now another nigga with her, which is probably your worst nightmare. He over there doing the things your ass was supposed to be doing. And the family like his ass. You think motherfuckers ain't expecting your ass to blow at any minute? You think we're not expecting your ass to come tumbling out of her bushes, hiding out in lingerie shops and parked up the block with your headlights off, dressed in all black? Nigga, all eyes are on you, okay? This nigga probably somewhere talking to himself. <laughs> oh, she on cloud nine? Okay, let me go find her ass. <laughs> then he gonna look up to the sky and start counting the clouds and be like, one, two, three, six, eight, ten, nine. See, I done found you, bitch. <laughs> You thought you were going to get away from me. <laughs> He's so fucking dumb, y'all. <laughs> See, if he was business savvy or had any ounce of smartness, he would go somewhere and start him a dummy brand and make some money. I'm sure all the other dummies were bad. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to try to get this reunion review up at some point. I just had to come through and talk about this shit real quick. And y'all, I heard some talk about Wanda possibly not returning to the show. But last week, sometime, I saw that Wanda was on live on her YouTube channel. So I hopped into her comments to ask her if she had been fired. Because around that time, that that was around the time that Stormy's mama was doing the most. And it was being rumored that she was doing that because Wanda had been fired. And she was going to bring her ass on the show to replace her or whatever. Um... So I asked Wanda if she had been fired and she said no. And if so, you know, ain't nobody told her about it. And Stormy's mother said that, you know, she pretty much had no plans to be on the show. So that shut that rumor down. I think I didn't think that Wanda had been fired. That's why I, you know, asked her because I hate rumors. I like facts. So according to Wanda, OK, she has not been fired and nobody knows whether or not Destiny was fired. I hope so. It's been said that the Whitlow's contract wasn't renewed, but those are just rumors. I don't know for sure. We might have to find out, you know, next season. We might have to wait till next season to find out. It's not like we'll get the truth out of Destiny, but, you know, she out here talking about she hold other people truths. Like, bitch, hold yours first. Y'all, that's all I got to say about these folks for now. Y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.